Our next guest, a uh, professional, uh, Nathan Katz of Morgan, Brown & Joy. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Jeffrey. It's good to be here. Good. Why don't you tell us about Morgan, Brown & Joy and what, you, what your area of expertise is? Okay. Well, Morgan, Brown & Joy is a law firm. We're located in downtown Boston on State Street. We have about 30 lawyers, and we're what you would typically call a boutique firm. The entire firm, all 30 lawyers, all we do is labor and employment law on the management side. So all 30 lawyers really every day spending representing small and large companies dealing with their employee issues. Well, and that's a that that is probably a just a black hole for problems with business if they know it or don't know it. If they're not in trouble, they probably are in trouble. From what <laughs> I can see as a management consultant, well, everybody's doing something wrong. But, you know, that's probably true and uh we hope that with many of our clients who are looking to us to give them advice to do it right, that we're making sure they are doing almost everything right. But there's, you know, there's new developments every day, new issues, new things. It's, it's a field that is constantly evolving and constantly changing. And I, I think for me, that's, you know, primarily what makes it so very exciting. Is that whole area changing a lot right now? Well, I, I mean, I'll, I'll just give you a few examples. You know, in Massachusetts, we just had, uh, you know, an election and a vote, and and the voters approved paid sick leave. Right. For for uh, paid sick leave for employers with eleven or more employees, and unpaid sick leave if you have less than eleven employees. So that's that's new law with new of new questions that will develop, and the law goes into effect July first of next year, and. You know, the Attorney General's office is supposed to issue regulations on the law, and there'll be lots of questions and raised on what's it. Your, am I allowed to ask your opinion of the law? More so, I have an opinion on how we develop the law. I'm not sure that I believe that the voters of Massachusetts should decide business policy. I'd rather have our elected representatives decide business policy rather than the voters. I would tell you that most of our Massachusetts employers are probably already providing at least five paid sick days to their employees. I would say, all, I think, without question, all my clients do that. Some of them do that in the context of paid time off. Right. And, not, and, and so now there'll be a question of how does paid time off work in the context uh, of, of the, sick, the sick leave law. And, you know, we don't know the full answer to that question yet, and we'll only know as, as, as the law evolves. But this means time. that everybody has to change their personnel manuals, right? Well, they certainly and their training. They certainly have to look at their personnel manuals and, and see how they are doing sick leave. And, uh, you, know, there are, you know, it's not just providing 40 hours of sick leave. It's also you, you can accrue it from one year to the next. How do, there are issues about there are, the law sets forth what you can use it for. You can use it in small increments. I think, I think many employers are worried about tardiness issues with their employees, and now their employees are using that, saying that, you know, they're, they're, they're asking to use their paid sick leave for tardiness. And were they sick? Were they not sick? How do you find, how do you find that out? Have you noticed uh, swings in uh, what are the, the types of cases that approach your firm over the last five to ten years? Well, I, I would tell you that... I think things go into style. That's what I'm sort of yeah, saying. Yeah, I, I, I would tell you that two areas are probably largely involving. One is, one is we certainly have seen a swing to, to uh, more class action wage and hour lawsuits. That has certainly developed over the last five years where 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 you know employers are being charged with wage and hour violations and 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 plaintiffs lawyers are bringing large class action lawsuits against employers on that 